Hello, everyone. Um, I was looking for a way to track my cryptocurrency prices, and I wanted to grab them from coinmarketcap.com and pull them into Excel. And I figured out this nice way to do it. I thought I'd share it with you guys. So the first thing you need to do is identify which coins you want to track. So we'll go over to coinmarketcap.com, look at Dogecoin, and we look at the URL up here, and we see that they specify Dogecoin. So we'll just copy that word, and we'll paste it into Excel. So that's the, the coin we're going to track. So move down a little bit. Now we're going to use a web query. So we go up to the data dropdown, get external data, run web query. That brings up this folder location with two web queries. If you right click on the first one, you can do show in Finder. That'll show you where it is in Finder. Now we can duplicate this because we have to make our uh, unique web query. So we'll do duplicate. That makes a copy. We'll now edit the name, get word, rid of the word copy, and change the name to Coin Market Cap. Now we can right click on that, double click on that, and open with Text Editor. It has this default query here. We need to change the URL. So we'll delete the old URL. We'll switch back over to Coin Market Cap. And we'll copy the URL and paste it into here. Now we want to make this a parameter. So we change the word Dogecoin, enter a bracket, quote, enter name of coin, quote, close bracket. And then we're done. We've got some other parameters here. We can just leave them. I don't really know much about those, but probably you could customize those too if you need to. But for now, We'll just close this. Switch back to Excel. Um, cancel this for now. And then now we'll go back and rerun our query. Data, get external data, run web query. Now you'll see the coin market cap is there. We'll select that to get data. So it says, where do you want the data? And I'll just put it like two rows below the name of the coin. And then I'll click on this parameters. And it's got that parameter we defined, enter the name of the coin. We'll select get that value from a cell. And then we'll select the cell reference. We'll click Dogecoin. Click here. Click OK. Now we're back here. Where do you want the data? It's going to put them. And we click on OK. It's running getting the data. And there's the data. We can do this for another um, coin as well. So if you switch over to coin market cap, we'll type in like cake. Pancake swap. We see here it's called Pancake Swap. So we'll just copy Pancake Swap, put that here in this cell. Now we rerun this web query, move down to this location we want the data. Go data, get external data, run web query, select the query, get data. Where do you want it? We've already selected it, select parameters get the value from a cell, specify the cell, click on OK, click on OK. It's running the query. There's the value for pancake swap. You know, we can do it for another one. Go back to Coinbase, type in bunny, pancake bunny. You know, it's pancake bunny. Paste pancake bunny, go down, data, Get external data, run web query, coin market cap query, get data, parameters, get the value. So you get the idea, you can just keep repeating this. And uh, I'll do three. You'll see that now you've got the data. So now what you can do, you can, you know, you can make this your crypt you can pricing tab, and you can create another tab, you know, like values. You know, and you might say, you know, how much doge do you have? You know, number of coins, you might have a thousand, you know, and then you can just put, you know, price. Then you can link to this other table, you know, grab the Dogecoin price there. You can do value, you know, equals this times this. You, know, you can do that for pink, for cake. Maybe you have a thousand cake as well. 
you know, hit this, grab the cake price, multiply them together, you know, and then sum it up. And there you go, that's your value. And then now what you can do, um, you know, that's your total. Um, should have made it bigger. Now you can just, whenever you wrote, load the sheet, you can just click on the data tab and refresh all. And we'll go to the pricing tab, we'll show, so click on refresh all. It'll run out and update it. You know, there's probably not many changes, so it hasn't changed much. Um, but if it does, it'll update the data there, and then that'll flow through to your values page and give you your totals. So just wanted to share that. It's kind of interesting. I thought it worked pretty well. Hope it's beneficial to you. Thanks. Bye.